All right, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little video of my um, experience from the Sharon Johnston Open. Uh, I was playing in the MA1 division. This course, so this is the starting hole. I'm starting on hole 7 here, uh, 501 foot par 4. It's a pretty easy par 4. Um, I was just trying to kind of play conservative and get on that other side because there's an open look for an upshot. Uh, so that's where my drive landed. Just have a little upshot here. And get in. Almost threw that in actually, oh. but made the putt, so we're negative one through one. Uh, so we actually did not get any footage from hole eight, but it was pretty straightforward. I just parred it. So this one I'm going over the top versus the straight play. Uh, went over the top, I threw it a little short. As you can see, it's just kind of over the bank, the river. So I've got this uphill 45 foot look. I gave it a little run, pulled it out wide, but uh, took a par on that, so we're negative one through three. Moving on to hole 10, this is a 415 foot par three. I just kind of want to pull this out wide and let the glide work its way back in. So there you go, I got it over the road. This is my Z Raptor, and we're just gonna get a little skip there. So we're That's now good, set up dude. for about 25 foot putt, 20 foot putt or so. Um, I was able to put that in, so nice now we're negative two through four. All right, hole 11 is 435 foot par three. Um, I pulled this way too wide, so I kind of got caught up in that stuff, but I was able to pull a par out of it, so we're negative two through five now. Uh, hole 12 is a 637 par four. I'm just trying to pump something straight through the gap um, and then kind of fade out. This is my Halo Esper Blend uh, Emperor. I threw it kind of way too low, so it was on the ground. And we didn't get this on footage, but I had an awesome 360 foot um, forehand. And it swung back around here and it set me up for a 25 foot putt for the birdie. And I made it. Yeah, baby. So that was a great bonus birdie to get there. Uh, so we're negative three through six. Hole 13 is just a little 261 foot par three, and that's not much in the way. Sit. Uh, you want don't there is that little ditch to worry about, but I stayed clear of it. it wasn't as close as I wanted, but I still made the putt. So that's we are now negative four through seven. All right, so hole 14 is a 320 foot par three. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to go with the mid range and just turn it over and have it go around those trees and then settle by the basket. Um, I put kind of way too much ante on it, and short. it kind of hit the trees right over there. Um, I was able to scramble and just get up and down for a par. So now we're negative four through eight. We didn't get any footage of hole 15, but I just parred it. It wasn't very interesting. So here, That's hole 16, right just there. something really That's straight. It, buddy. Um, oh, get in. I was in. able to get pretty close. Nice um, throw. In practice, wasn't able to get that close, but I had about a 20-foot putt. And this was super nervy because on the uh, right side of the screen, those are all of the professionals that day, and they are all watching me. So that was really nerve-wracking, but uh, I managed to clutch up and make the putt nice for putt, three. Micah. So we're negative 5 through 10. We're on a pretty good pace right now. Full 17. We're playing the short layout, so it's 390 foot par three. Get going, get going, get going, get going. Um, I threw this kind of how I wanted, just a little bit too far. Um, I ended up just laying that up to take the par because I didn't want to risk going OB. So negative five through 11. Full 18 is a 433 foot par four. It's super easy par four. I was gonna try to go for the eagle, but I pulled that way too wide um, and got too much turn out of it, which is unfortunate. But I took uh, an easy birdie. So we're negative six through 12. So this is hole one. Again, we're playing the short layout, so this is just going to be a 320 foot, four foot par three. I pulled this a bit too wide. I was hoping I was going to get a little bit more glide, but it kind of just smacked it down. Um, so I was left with this about 35 foot putt for birdie. Nice. And I was really nice. happy about that putt, so it put me at negative seven through 13. So now we've got this 332 foot par three. It's a really tight gap. Um, I threw it kind of how I wanted. I just want a little bit more height, but it ended up getting a really good slide. Oh, into wow. Um, so now we've got this about 20 foot, 25 foot look for birdie. And I was able to put that nice in. Putt, Micah. So now we are negative eight through 14, keeping up the pace. Um, this is a 400 foot par three. I threw a T-bird just on some Anheuser and let the wind carry it. 
and my dad didn't do a great job of filming this, but get in, it got get in, really close. Oh my lanta! Going in and stayed in balance. So then I had this about 25 foot edge of circle ish look for birdie oh. and uh, hit metal. So no worries, got a par. So now we are on hole four. It's a 432 foot par nice. three. I swung it wide with my force, and it worked get in. back in. Get in, get in, get in. Almost hopped in actually. So oh. we are, uh, that one was absolutely parked for birdie, so I just tapped into birdie. Negative nine through 16. Yeah. The second to last hole here. It's a par four, so I threw this exactly get how through, I wanted get, to. Get just rip, wanted man. to hit that hillside and skip up. And that set me up get for rip, that 60 foot up shot. Um, and I just laid it up and then tapped into birdie. So we're negative 10 through 17 now. This is the final hole. Uh, I have a wraith here, and I did not put nearly as much turn flip, as I wanted flip, on it. Flip. No, um, so I faded out way too early. I uh, had about 120 foot upshot, and it left it a little bit short. So here's my putt for par, and I made it. So nice putt. my round was negative 10. Uh, the round rating was 1,003. I was pretty happy about that. Stayed bogey free. Um, but now we're going into round two, starting on hole six. We're now playing the long layout. This is that same hole you, uh, I, I kind of shanked earlier, and I kind of did the same thing, but still made a par. So we're even through one. Hole seven is a 501 foot par four. And currently I'm battling um, the person, uh, I'm battling a kid named Caleb Marsh, who is uh, hot on my tail right now, and he birdied the previous hole. I threw a pretty darn good drive. Uh, it was a little bit left, but I had an easy birdie, and Caleb Marsh ended up eagling that hole, so he was catching up to me really quick. Hole eight, I pulled this Get a little bit wide, but it got lucky and, sn and snuck through everything. Uh, here's my upshot. I goofed it, pulled it wide, hit that tree. It was really unfortunate. Had this downhill scary putt for the uh, par. And so I took a five on that hole, which is really unfortunate. Um, I believe I, that tied it up with me and Caleb. So here I went over the trees, tried to put more power on it okay. versus last round okay. so that I could kind of uh, get close to the basket to set me up for a putt. Still short, nice shot. but better than the last round. So I have this uh, uphill straddle putt for the birdie. And I put that in, so I was really happy to get back to even after that. Uh, Alright, so even through four, now on to hole 10. It's that 415 foot par three. I'm gonna try to do the same thing I did last round. Um, I pulled it a little bit too wide though, um, but luckily that disc has got a fair amount of glide. So it worked back in bounds. Here's my outside the circle look for birdie. Tailwind kind of just knocked it down, but not not upset about it. We're even through five. 430 foot par three, a hole 11. I really like this oh, shot, but the wind kind of held it over too there. long and it, and, and it hit those uh, branches yeah. on the other side. But uh, here's my up shot. Pretty straightforward and just took a par. So we're now even through six. Need to pick up the pace to keep my lead. So this is hole 12. I released it way too early and it hit that tree. Um, I still managed to pull a par out of it. Really needed this birdie here, so we're on hole 13, 261 foot par three. Did not get over on it enough and it faded out way too early. So here's my look for the birdie. kind of lifted mm. it up too much and then that rolled down the ditch and I missed the putt again so I took a four on that hole really bummed out um, so here's hole 14 I go with the forehand this time because the turnover wasn't working and that's this awesome ended buddy it's awesome super well so I absolutely parked that as you can see got the CTP ended up winning a uh, end zone quick stick which was awesome so now we're even through nine after that birdie uh, hole 15 is a 333 foot par three. Oh, work. Now you're fine. That was a really good oh, shot. Yeah. Got real oh, close to the sure. basket. So here's my putt for the birdie. Little tailwind cross. Parted that one. I uh, was happy about that. So now I'm negative one through 10. So now moving on to hole 16. Trying to do the same thing I did last round, but didn't push that straight enough so it faded out a little early and short nice I just kind of gave it a run but ended up just taking a par on that hole so now we're playing the long position for this hole 17 the signature hole 
I just tried to put as much power on this to clear the water. Um, and I very much cleared it, and, you, and I hit the bank, the berm on the other side. So, uh, laid up for a par there, took my par. Moving on to hole 18 is a 645 foot par 4. I still have the lead, I believe, by one stroke. Um, pulled this a little bit wider than I was like, what I liked, but uh, I threw a more stable disc this time, so it kind of worked back towards where I wanted. Um, here I've got a really awkward upshot. I'm going with the Buzz OS. I'm trying to trying to throw it just kind of wide towards that tree on the left side and have it fade out, but that just slipped out really early. That was just a bad mm. shot. Uh, still took a par, but was really trying to get that birdie to kind of lengthen the gap. So hole one here is a 465 foot par three, and I just have to bomb this thing because Caleb parked it. So I'm trying to throw as hard as I can here. Let's go, bud. The boom sauce. I was sauce. able to get over on it, and I got under the boom trees, sauce out. Go in. Oh, oh. Put it in, actually. So I parked that hole, which I was super happy about, um, to keep that lead on Caleb. So I got a birdie. We're now in hole two, just trying to do the same thing I did last round. Um, I really like this out of the hand, but it unfortunately hit a little branch that was sticking out over the OB line, so I took a par. Going on to hole three, trying to do the same thing as last round, just turn over my T-bird and kind of let the wind carry it over. Um, I put this one nose up and way too high, so it really didn't have a chance of getting the full distance out of it. Um, no worries, took a par on it, wasn't really expecting to get a birdie. So I have a two-stroke lead right now going into hole 16 because Caleb bogeyed that hole. Um, I had a 432-foot par three. I did not pull this wide enough, um, so it kind of faded out early. And really wanted to make this putt because Caleb uh, absolutely parked this hole, so I needed to get this stroke to keep that lead going into the final hole. Uh, missed the putt, so I've got a one-stroke lead going into the final hole. Caleb threw an all right drive. It kind of got caught up in some limbs, but it ended up in a good spot. Great um, I pumped this one exactly skip how I wanted up. to, just straight down the side of the fairway and have it skip yeah, up. Uh, exactly how I screwed it up, so I was really happy about that. Here's my upshot. And Caleb's upshot, he was throwing it straight towards the OB line and it got a really lucky tree and kicked back towards the, the fairway. And so he ended up making a 35 foot putt to tie it, to um, put the pressure on me to make this putt. So this was for the win. Taking my time on this one. And I was able to put it in uh, for the birdie. And so I finished that round negative three. Um, and so I ended up taking down the dub.